So we don't understand all of the reasons why symptoms vary between people. The most puzzling example, of course, is why children seem to be almost entirely asymptomatic, despite us recently finding out that they have just as much virus in their bodies as adults. So severity clearly increases with increasing age. Um, it could be that there are differences in immunity between uh, children and adults. Um, there are changes that happen in lung tissue or receptors as you age, or it could have to do with um, increasing in long-term exposure to pollutants and irritants. We just don't know. We do know that men are at heightened risk, um, and this is a phenomenon that interestingly happens for a large number of infectious diseases across the animal kingdom. So you can study infectious disease in humans and mice and insects, and commonly males exhibit um, greater severity. Of course, we know that people who have underlying conditions are, are at heightened risk for severity, particularly things, um, conditions that relate to the cardiovascular system. And then lastly, we know that a number of minority and ethnic groups are at heightened risk. And some of that might have to do with genetic differences, but much of it is likely due to uh, a long history of poor health care um, and also potentially the impact of um, racism in terms of causing chronic inflammation in people's bodies.